stressed out, you know, there's just so much division and hatred and it seems to be unorganic, fabricated by some state agencies and it stresses me out. But the reason I'm stressed out is because I'm leaving my spiritual principles of live and let live, mm. not remembering that God is ultimately in control of everything. That's my belief. And I forget that. Uh, yeah. I get this daily reprieve based on my spirituality of praying and whatnot. And going on Twitter the last uh, month. You mean X, real- you mean X. I like to call it Twitter because that's what it is. That you can read, label it whatever you want. Hey, it's hey, Twitter. you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying what they say. It's a, they're saying it's X. They're saying that it's the uh, the cross. They're saying that it's the Tav, the twenty two. You know, just well, saying. Yeah, the X is very important. It's a sideways cross, right? right. So we, and then th- these symbols which control the simulacrum get hijacked. You can see this with the rise of the third realm where Mm. they took a ancient symbol and then turned it to the side so it's just rebranding uh and stuff but the x is huge you got the x club the year of the we're in the year of the x right now yeah x is is everything right x this x that oh yeah a lot of people are you know i i did you see the stuff about hurricane barrel where you know there took me you know the eclipse that made the x over the United States, um, the last, the, the Great American Eclipses, and we talked a lot about this, where they cross-sected in, in Little Egypt, for those that don't know, it's a very symbolic, very prophetic place. A lot of people are like, oh, Beryl, it, cr- it was going along the ecliptical path. So I, everybody is looking for something. They're looking, people are hungry to know more. The problem is, it seems on social media, um, and this is why we're talking today, um, Everybody's so divided and so hateful and there's so much, there's so much prejudice I see and it's really disturbing to me. One of the things, um, by the way, welcome to the uh, show, Alex. This is Alex Dona. He's like, you know, my friend, he's an amazing YouTuber. He's been doing this forever. Um, probably everybody who's watching right now has already subscribed to you, but they should if they, if, if they aren't. Well, what thank you, you think- for having me on. Yeah. Jacob Israel, the top meatball show. I'm so grateful to be here. And please smash that like button, share this video out. It really does support the algorithm of us getting our content, which is very, uh, I would say, not popular right now because it's not going into the divisive politics. That's yeah. what gets promoted is right. beefs and whatnot like that. And and you know what? Staying on that straight and narrow, staying vigilant and sober and whatnot. Right. That's not popular. It's it's not a love is not. Thing. But listen, I mean, I mean, this is what you know. Scriptures has said from a long time that you know men will be lovers of themselves, boasters, blasphemers, proud. In the last days, this is it. This is it. You know, ironically, I've been what I do, um, and what people don't know behind the scenes is that you know I reached out to you and you were telling me that you know X was really getting under your skin because you're Jewish. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. And I'm aware of my emotional state because that is the number one plan of the algorithms. The algorithms are there to hijack the amygdala to remove us from the prefrontal cortex. This is what a salesman does or even a pimp. They do that to the they do that. They put you in fear. They troll. And I'm aware of that in my sobriety of how I'm feeling. Uh, So uh, it it could be because uh, i'm jewish and i'm understand my imprinting uh in my belief systems that i get triggered and i'm aware of that so i say okay i'm getting uh triggered why am i getting tri- asked these questions what it, it what's going on internally with me and right. that's kind of where i'm at is like why am i getting so triggered so i go back to me you know at the end of the day well, i mean you know if, if everybody went back to themselves i think things would be a lot better you, you mentioned your sobriety how long have you been sober nine years uh but you know what tomorrow i might uh relapse it's seriously just one day at a time and it right. has nothing to do with me at all it's uh i pray to pray to god and god did it i took do you action feel like do you feel like um the stuff that you're seeing online it's like driving you closer and closer to wanting to be 
I don't know. I think you're good, man. You're really a, no, you're a great role model for a lot of people. I don't think people realize, you know, what you're, you're an inspiration to me. You're one of the reasons why I, I don't drink as much Pinot as I used to. You know, you're Nothing you're a uh, you're, you're 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 a role model. And oh. um and so it bummed me out when I heard that, you know, you're not on X as much because you feel you don't feel like it's a safe place. But you also said you like the fact that you, you saw me like going into battle. Like I'm not even Jewish and I'm oh, yeah. I'm trying to get into every nook and cranny um just to you know just to help people even my last video my last video was about what the you know because they say this thing oh the jews they're the the synagogue of satan and it's not oh, that's yeah. not actually what the scripture says the scripture says very clearly they say they are jews but they are not jews they are of the synagogue of satan they're like operatives that were brought in to subvert the faith to turn everybody against each other they're the ones that killed christ the the liars are the ones because satan is a liar he's the father of all lies the the liars are the ones that are the synagogue of satan that come in and and there's so many people in the name of christ that are preaching such hate such division it's really it's really uh it's mind-blowing it's mind blowing. of course wrong with questioning institutions i'm always questioning institutions absolutely these institutions especially religious institutions corrupt you know yeah. and i have no problem with that at all my my where i start questioning is you're bringing up one institution but leaving out all the other ones that are absolutely corrupt as well which makes me think oh you know what there might be something going on here that right. is state funded uh, th that's what i think well i mean you know a divided house falls and if you're going to try to, you know, if you're going to try to keep control of everybody, you can't have everybody unite against you, especially if what you're doing is to benefit yourself financially. You know, if you're, oh. um, you know, if your bread and butter is to control people, you got to keep them at odds with each other because at some point they're going to wake up and they're going to realize, you know what, I shouldn't be paying, you know, $20 for 18 eggs in New York. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? It's like right. at some point you start to, to realize there's something something on you know else going on but this this hate this division that i i see and there's a reason for it and like i'm biased because you know my imprinting <laughs> i'm mm -hmm. biased but everybody's biased everybody right. is biased by their imprinting which you cannot change it's different than brainwashing and um i think that there could be a lot of different scenarios happening right now. You were talking about something about silencing. Like, it seems to me that everybody is on this platform and it's all being documented and it is all going into these different digital silos and other people are being manipulated because the feed will put stuff that you don't want to see. And I know I'm not crazy. No, thinking, you're not. You're not there. They put a lot of stuff in front of my eyes that I don't want to see either yes so we are being manipulated i don't even think by what we're told it is i think that uh there, this is a total setup for a sort of new lockdown to take place because we are in the election year so yeah. if a tragic event just happens to ha an october surprise it could all be blamed on certain groups on twitter you know what right. i mean it could be you know, a total setup for lockdowns this is interesting because i put a um i put a post out um on x where i said you know back there's a story in the bible of this um the guy that god said to the prophet go and tell this dude his name's jehu you know we want you to be king and because the, the because the the country got so corrupt everything got so messed up that they needed this guy Jehu. he wasn't a great guy he was like a businessman he was like he had his own army he wasn't great you know he wasn't like a great godly person but you know when behind the scenes they were saying we want you to be the next leader he came in and he he made it out like he wanted everybody to come come on in come on in you know we're gonna have a big celebration we want you all to just share your beliefs on the lord Baal because they were all into Baal worship so it was kind of like they opened the platform for every kind of hate every kind of idolatrous belief so that when everybody was there and they had their free speech they knew who to just get rid of i think this whole thing with x right now i think what you're seeing i think it's like a honeypot I think it's like a, it's a trap 
and i believe that it's more like there's there's a, a something that's behind the scenes like i believe very much that there's a god that's control but i believe there's something behind the scenes that is orchestrating this where people are starting to feel so comfortable you should see the things i'm not even jewish but jacob israel and you know big nose that'll get you that'll get you something right so a lot of people you should see the hate and the just the the anti-semitism that i see the, the the pictures they send me the thing and i think i'm italian and irish you meatball you know it's like what are you doing what are you saying these things for but i feel like what if the uh the, you know they've opened the gates to all this stuff so that all of the offenders can be very, very well documented because all that data is being sucked in by the most powerful AI. And who's to say, yeah, you know, who's to say that there isn't going to be that moment, that Jehu moment where all the prophets of Baal are just gone. You know, we'll never hear from these people again on social media. I cannot see this continuing and I'm not for censorship. But I think that this is what the overall thrust is. I think that it's kind of like, we're going to give you as, enough rope to hang yourself. You know, like mm -hmm. they did with Haman when it came to Esther. They, you know, we wanted Esther dead. You wanted all the Jews dead. What happens? You end up hanging in the gallows. And I think that spiritually, that's the day that we're in. Because really, wow. there, in Christ, there is no Jew. There is no Gentile. There is no male. There is no female. There's no black. There's no white. We're all one in Christ, you know? And wow. so I, I don't want you to feel like people need you. They need they need people that are encouraging. I don't think people realize how encouraging you really are. You know, like oh, you really thank, are thank a good guy. Thank, thank you. Well, you know, it's uh, <laughs> I love watching your channel because I get to learn about the scriptures. I get to learn about the Bible and you put these stories and, and I learn and learn from it like Jehu and, and whatnot. So everybody, please go subscribe to Jacob Israel channel and smash that like button. Thank you, man. But yeah, I'm I'm totally pro free speech. We need it. But I know that there is a different situation happening right Something. now. There's a reason why only this one place is being allowed in the way the algorithm feeds into it. Such Plus hate. the narcissistic neophyte type influencers is what i called it so right. neophyte means new to something new to a religion and yeah. you see all these top influencers were not around i know downs when it was absolutely important for them to speak up they were not around they're all new to different like religious places and yeah, also Candace owens the, can't wrote russell brand yes. all of them Standing on the checkerboard floor, yep. uh, Candace Owens, uh, Russell Brand with the 33 tattoo. Right. The list goes on and on with secret society, secret oath, symbolism happening. Ben Shapiro fired Candace Owens on 322. And no. there, you could, so you could see there's a hidden hand of secret societies that use religion as camouflage. Yes. You, we think that all these people are part of different religious sects but no they're all probably part of some sects that yeah. uh, you could trace back these uh ancient bloodlines these ancient cults that still sit at the un today you got all and so i, I am absolutely looking into all this and i know it's a setup and i'm totally pro free speech especially with all the middle east stuff going on there yeah. needs to be free speech but the thing is is that in politics nothing happens by accident and never let a good crisis go to waste when we were all locked down the ai algorithms which were around which wasn't released until after the 19 which is one nine yeah weird that studied america as a petri dish twitter was able to predict civil unrest quicker than the police can and this is ancient knowledge of the twitter space not to mention jack dorsey's first tweet was on 322 as well so th th you could see the symbolism right uh, there but we were all studied like a petri dish during the lockdowns and then after the lockdowns when everybody was all peaceful and at home together and none of these influencers were speaking out about about it once it all opened back up in 2022 they all became big and it seems they're moving people in a direction that is the difference between misinformation and disinformation is that disinformation leads you into an action or a vote right. or a direction that's what's happening right now yeah you know it's um everything that you're saying it's like i'm thinking of all of these influences like i saw today um jones aj he was reposting 
um, something Andrew Tate had said, and he's like, this is absolutely true. And I'm thinking, this guy's a pimp. This guy said that his dad was in the uh, three-letter organization. This guy is like, he's made people worse <laughs> spiritually, emotionally. He's, you know, th this is the undermining of society. And I, I look at all of these big influencers and now they're doing it in the name of God. And it's just, Ooh. it's blowing my mind. So I did a, um, I did a space, you know, um, this guy, Shepard is his name. He kind of, I don't want to say like caters to that type of crowd where it's like, you know, if you're Jewish, you're a problem, but there's a lot of people that are in there. And for whatever reason, I see this. So I, I find a way to kind of just mosey on in. And there was a, uh, an influencer named Lily and she's the one that, you know, said the N word and she was saying, you know, the, uh, the maggot word with the F and she's like known for being like, stop being a bunch of little, you know, B I T C H's. And she's, you know, really just very rough around the edges and very, very, you know, sounds very, very prejudiced and very, so I had a chance to talk to her and I did. And, you know, what I said to her was, because, you know, it was funny because Shepard said, I think she's a psyop. Because, you know, all these people that become like these firebrands where all of a sudden they're reaching millions of people out of nowhere. Like, oh, you went online? This is the first video you did? Oh, and all of a sudden, you know, you went on a plane and all of a sudden you're pointing at, and now you're a huge influencer? You know, all of these things? At some point, people have to question, why is the algorithm showing me this? You know, what is the, the driving force behind it? Usually it's the mess with you. Me a little bit of insight. Now, would you consider yourself to be maybe like a Christian or something? Yes, I am a very poor example of a Christian, but a Christian nonetheless. Okay, now do you want to be a better example? Yes. Okay, w w let me give me an example of how you could do that. Um, let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Let only things that are uplifting and things that are going to embolden people to be kind, to be gentle, to be wise, um, to love, to forgive your enemies, you know, to, if they slap you on the face, you don't slap them back, you, you turn the other cheek. If you want to be a better Christian, and I, you know, I don't really, I mean, you could say that I'm a Christian, right? I've been baptized and everything else, but I'm kind of like, I made a covenant with God, this is my thing. And I talk to people in all world religions and Unfortunately, the world is so sick right now that um, a single mom doing her best probably could do a little bit better with her words if she's influencing people. Because you become an example, not just to your child. I doubt you're going to call your child a little bitch. Maybe you will. Um, but I think that you probably want your child to grow up to be loved and to be understood. Because, you know, d intolerance just breeds more intolerance. You're not doing any good in the world, Lily, right now. I want you to know that because that is 100% the truth, but you have a platform where you can. So my question is, you wanna be a better, say, Christian, if that's your goal, would you maybe want to rethink your approach? It may not get you as many followers, that's for sure. But I mean, like, wh what matters to you? Is it a following or is it making the world a better place for your child? It's about making the world a better place for my child, obviously. Um, because you don't, I mean, I look at my analytics on YouTube. 90% of the people that are watching my videos are subscribers. 90%. Right. And not 90% of my subscribers, because a lot of my subscribers were like, where have you been, Jacob? I haven't seen a video of yours forever. And I love your videos. And I'm like, I do a video like almost every day. It's just, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, how do you, how does that, how, do, how does the uh, system coming against you and coming against me, how does that make any sense when you have people that are preaching at absolutely I'll tell you hate. what it is. It's because we're, because if you're preaching unity divided we stand yeah if you preach that then you're absolutely not going to be in the algorithm uh the monetized terror is what i like to call it the, that is not what that's why i am i think uh a threat because i want more like love out there or acceptance right. and whatnot and i learned that through 
uh, the way Jesus lived his life as well uh, th through in my sobriety Love journey. Love others. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I learned. Uh, and I'm still learning today. I'm, we I'm all not. are. And also with that push of uh, all these top influencers that you got all the mainstream media pundits mainstream media i mean and if you think and when i say mainstream media i'm talking about cnn fox news joe rogan even alex jones and I, right. that's not a diss it's not no, a diss it to alex at all they and are. he gets more views than the than cnn so mm -hmm. that makes it mainstream the number one googled man in the world andrew tate he that's the number one man in the world googled and i'm and i'm not attacking people I, I believe in free speech i believe that they should be doing this but there's something happening that's not organic and it is the divide and a lot of people don't even understand the founding of this country right uh, they they've never read people like thomas Paine, uh <laughs> which goes kind of against a religious tyrannical type system uh right. so they, people don't even understand the the history of america which was all founded by secret society members and whatnot do you know a lot about Project, um, what is it, 2025? Have you I heard, heard of it. This? I, I've heard of it, but I, I don't so know basically, what Basically, you know, they, they liken it to something that you and I have been talking about for a long time, which is that Handmaid's Tale is the future. Oh, <laughs> it's sure. You know, it's basically going to be a, um, you know, more like a, uh, uh, like a, I don't even want to say a theocracy because I don't believe that it's based on, you know, the truth of God. I would say it's... You know, Rome is kind of like taken over again. The Vatican's taken over again. Everybody's, there's this big push towards all of this. I mean, you look at Captain America, the new movie that's out right now. Red Hulk is uh, is trending at number one Marvel Winter Soldier. You know, so like right now, it's very much in the, uh, the we'll say the X ethosphere, which is the word brave new world because the next marvel movie is you know it's it's like big brother is watching it's it's you know captain america coming in and it's brave new world it's it's really just uh we're going into such a time that i i, do, I don't think people realize that they're going to be cheering something that's going to really take their rights away finds out but <laughs> but yeah, all these movies are predictive programming. And we're coming up onto the 33rd Summer Olympics with 33 hurricanes in the year of the dragon, which ends on 1 to 8, January 28th. Picture this stuff. <laughs> but we're in the year of the dragon right now. There was just this huge dragon in the new Rome, right? The right. New York. York yeah. part of Rome. It's the New York. It's the yeah. new Rome. And the dragon that they put up on top of that, we're in the year of the dragon. The last time we were in the year of the dragon was 2012. And if you remember the Olympics during 2012, I do all the bads and the satanic symbolism. So me and Jacob, we're going to be decoding that for sure. Yeah, we're going to do a, uh, you know, everybody has uh, reached out to me and I told you this. A lot of people are like, you have to do, because we did like a breakdown of something just recently, which was really the Super Bowl. We, you know, we've done a couple of breakdowns. I think, honestly, you're one of the greatest that I've met online, code breakers. Like, you know, you're just like me. You're, you're just somebody who's like, I want to, I want to figure out what this means. Let's look a little bit, dig, you know, dig a little deeper and see where it brings us. And I can't wait for the Olympics. There's a lot going on in France right now, which is really scary. They just brought in some, you know, they other areas. Um, I don't know what country it was, but they were showing footage of all of these like armored vehicles that are now patrolling the streets of France. And I think there's a connection to Saudi Arabia somehow, the kingdom. I don't know how it is, but um, it's really spooky. It's well, really spooky. The because French France is a mess. It's a hot mess after what just happened. Well, the French connection is huge going back to secret societies, the Freemasonry, Knights of Malta. The French connection runs deep in the mafia and, and stuff like that. So watching France is, is uh, something to study in history for sure. In the French Revolution, for example, the, these revolutions that kick off uh, might have a grassroots founding where it starts off good, but then they get hijacked and it turns into the reign of terror. So, like, 
everything that's happening now i am super sketched out about but right. the olympics happening if you look at the economist magazine in 2012 it's right. the world in hell that's what they titled i it. know there's the, the two paragliders paragliders which yeah. was showing us what was going to happen i think in the year of the dragon so now right. i think that these economist magazines are showing you what's going to happen in that chinese year yeah and we're, the year of the dragon ends on one two eight there's this one two eight code which is ridiculous the towers collapsed at 10 28. you always okay. remove the zero in numerology gotcha. even the whole uh q thing that was yeah. created us on 10 28. really um, the bridge collapses at 128 when joe biden was there talking about the infrastructure the mm. other bridge collapsed this year at 1 28 a.m leave the world behind was released on 12 8 one two this weird. is a code weird the, the dow jones is celebrating it's one two eight year right now so i'm looking out for the dow collapse through this number through these different moon cycles and whatnot uh there's a lot uh on the agenda and i think that it's really not for for me and you to be worried about i think it's for the youth the youth is being set up to be fighters for this future uh war which will be uh all on a playstation controller <laughs> it's true you know, the the, uh, the things that i'm seeing with the uh, these drones out of control i saw some footage today of these drones that were in a forest and they were like navigating the for like nothing and, and you know all the the video footage i don't even want to get into the stuff that's going on it's it's like it's horrible um how now we're really taking people out of the realm of what it really means to take somebody's life you know if you're doing it from a computer controller you know what's the difference you've been programmed to think oh it's just uh you know enemy combatant it's not a real person they don't have family they don't have i wish that i could do more to get people to um you know wake up to this but i think that i feel like i feel like god's doing something in the world and i feel like there may be some cataclysmic event not in a way that, like the whole world um gets destroyed but something that kind of wakes everybody up to the fact that we have to come together as a people mm. I don't know what that means, but I feel like we're, we have that moment coming between now and, um, you know, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. But listen, you, you know, having you on here, this was a uh, this is something I asked you to do because I, this is the first time I've ever done this before. I'm running out of time because I didn't pay for the, you know, whatever it is that I have to pay for. But, Anything um, over an hour is manipulation, in my opinion. So yeah. one hour is perfect. I just, you know, I wanted to, um, I just wanted to have a conversation with you. I think that the world needs to be a better place. I think that, you know, you're doing good work. And uh, and I hope that people enjoy this little conversation. I'm going to start doing more of these. Um, and I'd like to have you on when I have a little more preparation <laughs> behind it. Besides, hey, will you help me figure out how to do this? Because uh, just so you know, he was helping me figure this out so i hope oh. it works <laughs> yeah well it's all gonna work out just fine everything will fall into place the way it's supposed to it fall always into does place. and yeah it's it's good it's good all right brother well listen thank you so much for coming on the show everybody check him out subscribe to uh alex donut's channel you see the uh, link will be in the description and make sure you get some of your merch Ask for the truth, no matter what the cost, it helps me out. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. September 10th, Mars hangs closer to the Earth than it has in 6,000 years. Like the light that led men from the East to a child in a manger, it could well be a sign of good things to come. Thomas James shall be his name. The world will change because of him. In the small town of Bethel, in a time not unlike our own, a child with a great purpose is born. Years later, alienated by its peers and abused, 
Thomas suffers a devastating loss. When it appears he has nothing left to live for in the world, this is when his true calling begins. While trying to escape the sinister powers that be, a terrifying vision haunts him. Miraculous events seem to follow the peculiar young man as he struggles to come to terms with what he was born to do. The stage is set. The time is at hand. The truth will rise and a revolution will begin. The startling revelation of who Thomas James is, truly, will change the lives of those around him and set off a chain of events long ago foretold. There is more to this novel than one might think. Inside these pages hides a treasure just waiting to be discovered. So if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or why it is we suffer, then this story will not only captivate you, it may just open your eyes to a truth that could set you free. Find out what is in us all that makes us heed the calling.